Hello, my lovely how are you doing today? I am here to talk to you about the fact that September is just around the corner. I know it's kind of unbelievable, right? But September is just around the corner. And you know what that means. Story of Day September is coming up. If May doesn't really work for you, um, maybe September is better. Maybe September isn't better. It's not really better for me. Um, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to write every day in September because that's how we get things done. I'm not one of those people who says you need to write every day to be a writer, but I think it is really helpful to challenge yourself from time to time to do a little more than what seems possible. By challenging yourself, you will teach yourself how much you can do. Um, and it's usually more than you think you can. So what is Story A Day September? So Story A Day September is a month where I encourage you to write a story every day. And this year, the writing prompts that I'll be sending out are from some amazing writers. People like Hallie Efron and Joanne Harris and Joar Lansdale and Jonathan Mabry, people who have um, best-selling best selling books, um, movie deals. These people really know how to tell a story and they've been generous enough to give us writing prompts. So you get a little peek inside the, uh, the minds of people who are making their living from writing. I've also got prompts from people like Julia Elliott and um, uh, Primi Muhammad, people who are winning, uh, and Mary Robinette Kowal, people who are winning awards and being selected as the best of for their short story writing. And they've given us prompts and allowed us to look inside their heads and their process as they start brainstorming stories. So what do you have to do to take part in Story A Day? Well, I've always made it very, very loosey-goosey. You can participate simply by saying, I'm going to write a Story A Day in September. But over the 10 years that I've been running this thing, I've realized that it's hard, like that wasn't obvious to start with. I'm doing a challenge like this with other people around you is one of the best ways, if not the only way, to get this done. So I created a website at storyaday.org where you can come and find all the prompts and you can comment in the in the um, in the comments there and you can cheer each other on. I also have a group that I'll be talking about a little bit next week, uh, which is my superstars group. And we get together every morning to write on Zoom. And we've been doing this, uh, we've been doing it not quite that often for a few years now, but we, we've been doing it um, every weekday morning since this whole lockdown thing started back in March. And I have to tell you, it is a wonderful way to start the day. And I'm going to be inviting you next week to join us um, for the week leading up to Story Day September so that you can get that little extra boost that comes from turning up for your writing every morning starting your day that way. And if you're in a different time zone, you know, like taking a lunch break and we have people who, who join us um, from the crack of dawn to what is their evening. We have all kinds of different time zones of people who stop for lunch and join us, people who start their day writing. And we just sit and write in a Zoom room in a like co-working environment. And it sounds crazy, but um, just sitting there with a timer going, knowing that you've got 25 minutes to do some writing and then another 25 minutes to do some writing really focuses the mind. So I'm going to be inviting you to join us next week. No strings attached. Um, so if you want to find out more about that, make sure that you are on the Story A Day mailing list. You come over to storyaday.org and just sign up on any of those little sign up boxes and you will get an email from me telling you about the open writing sprints that we're doing in the run-up to Story A Day. What else did I want to talk to you about? I wanted to also let you know that if you want me to send you writing prompts from these best-selling authors, prize-winning authors, every day during September, then you need to come and sign up. Um, I don't just email the whole world and I, I don't email people if they haven't asked me to. So if you would like to get the 
um, the writing prompts in September, even if you've signed up for other stuff from me, even if you signed up for the prompts in May, you need to come and put yourself on that list. So I've included a link in the description of this video. Um, it's just storyaday.org uh, forward slash next hyphen challenge, next challenge. I believe that's the right URL, but I'm putting the proper one in the text there. So if you want me to send you writing prompts during September, so every day you wake up to an email that says, here's the prompt, or if you're in a time zone west of me, uh, which I'm in the Eastern US, if you're in a time zone west of me, you get to look at tomorrow's prompt before you go to bed. If you want me to send you an email every day that just encourages you, hey, why don't you write a story about this today? Come and sign up for the September challenge and you'll be joining hundreds, hundreds of writers who do this every year. Thousands of writers um, have been through this experience and uh, probably close to a thousand will go through the, the writing challenge this September. And you're part of an amazingly supportive community when you do this. Uh, you, will, you will be doing something wonderful for yourself by committing to writing every day for a month. You'll be pushing yourself. Um, the rules are start and finish a story every day. I allow you to modify the rules for yourself. I personally tend to take Sundays off just because I know that works for me. I've been doing this for a long time, but there are other people in the group who write every day. And if they miss a day, it feels like it hurts. So depending on your personality, there's some wiggle room in the rules. You get to set your own rules, but basically start and finish a story every day during the challenge to push yourself to write for longer than you think you can. So it's easy to write a story for a couple of days. It's harder by day 15. And then by day 20, you're kind of cruising downhill and it's it, it actually gets much easier. And you prove to yourself that you can do this. You can find more ideas. You will get more inspired. The more you write, the more creative you are, the more creative you become. As you, you are committed to writing every day, there's no question when you wake up in the morning, am I going to write today? You don't have to expend any energy on that at all. You're just like, what am I going to write today? And then you start looking for inspiration as you walk through your life. So going through the Story A Day Challenge trains you to incorporate writing into your life and figure out how to make it part of your life every day. It trains you to understand that you can do more than you think you can. It shows you how to shape stories because I'm pushing you to finish a story every day. It's very easy to start a story. It's very easy to get lost in the middle and it's very easy to give up before the end. But if you push through and put an ending on all of your stories, you will start to develop a real sense of story structure and how to get to the end of a story, all of these things. The other thing that you will do is you will you will just feel that um, joy every day from doing something really good for yourself. And you'll look back on the challenge and you'll go, I can't believe I did that. I can't believe I actually wrote so many stories. And the next time you see a call for submissions or a contest or you're thinking about sending out a family newsletter at the holidays, you will have a stack of stories that you can pull from to share with people. We need stories. Our world is um, proving to us at the moment that life can be tough. We learn and we share through story. We uplift each other through stories. We get away from the troubles of life by reading about other people triumphing over their own struggles in a fictional context. We need stories and we need people like you to be writing stories because the everything is so diverse, right? The, this world and our experiences, we don't just need stories from one set of people. We need stories from everyone, from people like you, from people like me, if you haven't read stories about people like you, maybe you should be writing them. So join us for Story A Day September. Explore 
all of the options that you can, you could be writing about by writing a story every day in September. Come to the link below and sign up for the challenge and I will send you prompts every day in September. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. What are your questions about the challenge? What would you like to hear from previous participants? Um, how are you feeling at the thought of committing to writing a story a day next month? I know it's scary, but I also know that you can do it because I've seen thousands of people do it over the past 10 years. And I've seen just the, the light in their eyes and I've seen them go on to get published and I've seen them go on to put together collections and share their stories and I've seen them embrace their full identity when they're doing the thing they love. That's what I've talked to, I'm talking to you about today. Sign up for the Story Day September Challenge. Let me send you prompts. Let, let you figure out how to make writing part of your life uh, with the support of the Story A Day community. That's it for me today. I wish you a wonderful creative day and most of all, keep writing. <laughs>